what's going on here. There we go. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Badu Court? Sorry for the lateness today, and I broke my my stream set. I was uh, I got into I, I sent a wall of text to someone in my in a Discord, it, like not a not a negative one, but uh, I, I, it was a wall of text. So I, I I was writing that and forgot what time it was, and you know, so on and so forth. So on and so forth. Hello, bad dude court. Have, have we not seen you in a while? The name sounds exception sounds very familiar, but I don't have we have we hung out in a while? Anyway. Conflicts, my man. Well, I get it, I get it. Conflicts happen. I just appreciate you spending any time with me, to be honest. Any time at all. Um Yeah, so today, I don't know what we're doing today. Well, I do know what we're doing today, but I, I, I don't know where this is going to take us. Uh, last week, we started uh, building a, um, a, a plug-in. Oh, Ajit Bahora, hello, my friend. Good to see you. <clears throat> he's, uh, he's over at, um, at YouTube. Hey, listen, if you want to come hang out when in the Twitch, that's where we're hanging out here. You can see the chat. There's a lot more chat going on. Unfortunately, due to the way that um, Twitch... Um, allows multi-streaming. I can't show the chat on screen. It could maybe take people away. So anyways, that's a weird rule. But anyways, I just dropped a link to, to my Twitch channel. So if you want to, I don't know if you're a Twitch person. If not, no worries. You're welcome to hang out anyways, but you'll probably get more out of the chat if uh, if you hang out on, on Twitch. But either one, just good to see you. I'm really sorry we didn't get to meet at WordCamp Canada um, this year. That sucked. Uh, but I'm going to WordCamp US. So if anyone's going to work camp US, come, I don't know, that's a weird sound. Come and, uh, uh, you know, hang out, say hi. I'm not presenting or anything, I'm just hanging out. So anyhow, um, cool, yeah, and as soon as, so last week what we were doing was, uh, we, I, I'll give a bit of history here. I don't know if Paul's here. I just pinged him a little while ago. I should probably make this a bit more formal, maybe have him on the stream hang out with us. But uh, we are gonna do, we're building out something that basically allows us to try to build patterns out of um, schema. So schema.org. So we, we were looking at, what are the schemas we're looking at here? Um, developers, we're looking at, I'm gonna zoom this in so y'all can read this a little better. Um, so this is basically the schema that we were looking at. Um, and for things uh, specifically, what, what was the, um, Docs, right? We were looking for uh, what was it? It was job posting. Job posting. So we want. So we we are looking at this, right? <clears throat> so that's kind of what we were working on. So where we got to the other day was um, uh, we were in our schema plugin schema build. So we kind of did a bunch of farting around with things, and then we got into this. So this is sort of where we started. So, uh, oh yeah, right there. It's a mess. Yeah, right here. So what we did was we are trying to, we're doing a few things here. Now, now this, this needs to be abstracted out. So this is just very, very raw right now. It's just very, very procedural spaghetti code that I used to write back in the day. Well, I st who, am I, who am I kidding? I still write it. I still write code like this. The stuff that runs at the top runs before the stuff at the bottom. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I do it. So what we were doing was we were trying to, so we, we were pulling the schema, right? So I'm, I'm using a transient here to pull the schema uh, for, from here. So basically if we've got a, a cache, then it, it's gonna re retrieve the cache. If it doesn't have a cache, it's gonna grab it, then it's gonna cache it. So this is the response, doing a remote get. We're gonna return that link, the, the link that I just um, shared, which is what I'm gonna share it. It's, it's schema.org, it's right here. So if you, uh, I'll share it. If y'all are interested, biggie to bang. Um, but uh, and then ba oh sorry, back back to my codes. My codes is where I need to be. Um, and then what we're doing is if there's no error and we get a response code of 200, then we decode the body and then we check for the blah 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 blah, blah and then we get the raw schema, which is basically everything that comes in uh, under the graph. So we're not anything under here. Oh boy. Come on now. Oh, it just takes a while because there's 2,800 million items. It pulls all that. 
um, then we just set the transient. And then now we see if we have the raw schema, if we have a raw schema, then we start to, to process things. So I, I did a bit of work on, on this after, um, after the fact, um, just to kind of clean this up because this is a bit hard to wrap your head around. Like I'm trying to figure out um, because if we look at some of these keys, you know what? It might just be easier if I if I drop a breakpoint in. So let's just let's drop a breakpoint in here. No, where, where was I doing this? Um, we'll just uh, uh, what? Oh, you're right. I was doing um, that breakpoint stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run my um, my my debug here. I'm gonna just come back over to the browser. And just run this. Uh, this is okay. So that's if we look at patterns, we've got a whole ton of patterns. So what I've done is I've created an array of patterns, right? So we look at an individual pattern. Let me let me back this up. So we've got an array of patterns here. These can be anything, right? So I have them I alphabetically sorted at the moment. <clears throat> um, so let's look at like for example article, right? So article. So the way that I built it out. So pro, so properties. So these can be. It's sort of hard to understand how these work, like the relationships. And I, I think I just haven't wrapped my head around it fully yet. Um, but basically, so at what I'm calling properties, where do I have raw schema in here somewhere? Raw schema. So if we look at, say, one of these classes, so, uh, this is probably not what we want. Um, there, here's one. So a, a tourist trip. So. Um, can be done. Dip it, dip it, prop, uh, ID, range ID, properties. Fine. Okay, so it's going to create that. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what I did here. Domain includes. Right, so we're looking for these things. So these, um, the schema domain includes, which is where, where is that? Uh, of course not seeing there we go so we have this domain includes right so i think the way that domain includes so there's these two properties one's called domain includes and one's called range in, in includes and what my understanding of it at this point is that the, the domain includes are the things that can be part of this item and the range includes are things that it can be represented with these are these are the types it can be re 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 represented with Hmm, it's still not really clear in my head. <laughs> now that I've said it out loud, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's look at the pattern that we're actually looking at here. So, so the properties of this pattern are, it's recycled. Okay, let's, let's skip on to the next one here. API reference, I'm just gonna, okay, and about page this. No, there's nothing in there. Uh, accommodation, so the properties that it can have. Oh, throw a new error, welcome, hello. So these are the properties that this schema can have. It can have an accommodation category, floor level, a year built, tour booking page, floor size, all that sort of stuff, right? But then it can also be um, used as a property of something else. So this can be a value of a different schema. Does that make sense? I really wish Paul was here. He knows this stuff inside out and backwards. Maybe he's, maybe he's here and he's just, he's just being being sneaky and not and not saying anything. So that's kind of kind of how I have it figured out right now. So we have these things that are like what it can be made up with and then what it can be used in. So that's basically what it is. So its properties and its value, it it, it can be a value can be a value for this schema. And there we go. Okay. So well, I'm just gonna stop this. And I'm going to refresh this and that's kind of, and so where I ended up was I built all that out and then now I'm doing some alphabet. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing about registering patterns because the idea here was that we, we were going to use this to register some patterns. So I'm doing a few things. Well, let me show you what the end, the end, the end result here. So if I come into here, this is, this is ridiculous, but if you're looking into, is it on categories? I've got a few patterns. I've got 500 patterns in here, right? And the way, that, like it, and so it's just basically I, I, I'm, I'm just plunking a pattern in for each. Um, so all I'm doing is giving it the name, and then I'm actually adding the type name inside here, 
uh, and then in here somewhere and then I'm adding this. So this is this is just rough. This is not what we want. So my idea here was that we would we would based on the properties, we would create blocks that would represent each one of those properties. That make sense? Oh, Kevin! What's this? Kevin, who's that? Uh, Ajit's here! Right? No. Yeah, Ajit, hey, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I, I, I gotta change that overlay, I can't read it. So there's always a white screen in front of me. Wait, am I saying that right? It's a, a, it's a, it's G, right? It's one of those things that you you meet these people like online. Like I've interacted with you like in GitHub, on Twitter, I'm sure, probably in a million other places, and you see a name, and then you just assume it's pronounced a certain way. <laughs> I, I I I hate that because you meet th these people and they they feel like like friends, like they feel like people that you've known right a long time. You're like, hey, what's and but you're scared to say their name in case you've made it up wrong <laughs> you know uh, anyway so if i'm pronouncing that wrong please let me know and i'll feel like an ass but it'll strengthen our bonds mm. anyways okay so let's see um i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do here is i am going to here on time paul's here hey paul how is it going paul's the man paul 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 yeah i was late today paul so it's all good it's all good we're all good um, so anyways, Paul, I've gotten this to a point now where I'm starting to generate patterns. I'm, I'm just registering patterns based on some, some things. So we're going to try to figure some stuff out here. I've got 500 patterns being registered. I'm going to maybe just restrict that a little bit. Um, and I'm going to say, so pattern, so I'm going to just try this. I'm going to say if, I'm just going to do this. So if ID is equal to, I think it's going to be schema. I think it's going to look like this job posting uh yeah i really enjoyed that last week i don't know about y'all but i don't know why i'm saying y'all like i'm from the southern states which i love it it just slides rolls off the tongue it's fantastic but i think i might extend my stream times um i can't today unfortunately because i think i have a, a meeting that i cannot um what, continue? I'm in a four each. Oh, what, I, what have I done? If I'm in a four each. Do I just do that? I can't remember. I can't remember if that's what I do. I think that's what I do, right? I just, I, 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 I guess I could wrap this whole thing inside of that, but is that what I want to do? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I, I, I want to. I don't know if I can because, I, like I said, I have an internal meeting that's right up against it. Right up against it. And I just I need to probably save that file. That's the thing. Saving that file is good. So let's see. So if I go into patterns now, I should have patterns. I should have untagged categories. I should have a job posting pattern. Cool. All right. So that's my job posting pattern. So that does work. This is nice. I like this. Uh, skip any... Anything that is not a job posting. Any, let's spell that correctly. Okay, so now what we need to figure out though. So, so the pattern, so if I, okay, so I'm gonna come here. So if I, if I get, if I get here, what is going on with this? Um, stand by once. That's totally the wrong button. I want to turn off. Do I have that set in here? I don't. Okay. I have. Um, what I have going on here is this. I have PHP CBF uh, enable, and I'm trying to make it save on. Like I, I'm trying to run it on save, and it sometimes it works, and sometimes it just doesn't. It just ends up, you see that little bar running across the top and it just runs forever. It's a giant pain in my buttocks. So it just slows everything down. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so uh, so now if I put this back in here, the I should, this should pause on job posting. It does, okay. So, so the pattern looks like this. We've got properties and we've got value for 
So I think we can pull the pot. So what we can do is we can pull. Uh, see, this is where the, I was thinking about this. And this is where this is going to kind of fall down as far as building a pattern. Like, I think these can be pattern starting points because we don't just want to arbitrarily add something for each one of these, do we? Like, is that what, what, what we want to do here? Um, you know what I'm saying? Because we, not, we may not want to have industry, right? And I don't really know what some of these things are. So anyways, so let's, let, so what I was thinking was basically we would get the properties, right? We would, we would, um, we're going to do something like loop the loop properties, properties, geez, oh my God, I'm so sorry, to create the pattern. Okay, so I'm going to do four each. Love me those loops, pattern. It's going to be properties, properties, as a property, property name, right? What we're going to do is loop through each one of those, append this HTML, and then the HTML goes right in there. That's where it goes. So that's where it goes, right? Right? Anyone? Bueller? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> but then we're going to have to look up the property for each thing. So, okay. So then, so, so the idea here is going to be get, get the pro, uh, property definition from raw schema, right? Um, then, so, so let's okay. So let's 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 do one here. Let's go. Okay. So I'm gonna take take the first one, and property name. So if I go to patterns, I should have a property name in there. So I'm, I'm gonna say this is property. Oh my god. Property def equals raw wa <laughs> raw schema property name. Right at this point. Um, This is where types are going to become. I think we need to define system types. Anyway, so we're going to get the property def, right? And then we're going to say, um, I don't know, HTML equals uh, plus equals. I'm just, going to do this. I'm just doing this so I can add a breakpoint so I can see what property. Stop. I can see what property is doing here. Right, so I'm gonna run through the reload. Oh, schema employment unit. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'm just accessing that wrong. Uh, so we got raw schema. Oh no. Oh wait, no, no, it's not what I want. I want patterns. That's, what, that's sorry. That's what I want. I want to pull it from patterns, not raw schema. Hey, Philip, is that gonna work? Right, it's Philip. It's Philip. <laughs> is it, I think I think I think I might have fixed it. Oh, right, it's oh, Philip. Oh, I didn't fix it. I gotta figure that out. All right, I don't know why that why that didn't work. Anyways, you're so good. We'll say it twice. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, Philip's here. This property def is null. Pattern, Ugh, because it's patterns, dope. You know, you know when you don't know your own, you, you don't even know what you're doing. So this, what? Mm, patterns, patterns. Schema. Oh wait, what's what? What's the thing about employment unit? Is employment unit in there? Uh, now what am I doing? Am I? Screwing around with the name, I think it might be. Um, hmm. no, I'm 
I'm just putting the ID in, not doing anything to the ID. Ross schema as node. So why is the node not showing? Weird, man. Schema employment unit. I'm going to breakpoint here so this is going to be id is going to be equal to schema employment unit okay let me just rerun this it actually oh does it it's not there what Okay. Oh, you like that one? Yeah. Okay, so I think, um, okay, I'm just gonna, uh, you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna do this. Bunch of crap just fell off my desk. And then I'm gonna skip through to the next one. So this property death ever. Sorry, let me get this thing. Oh, great, it's CR zero EBIT. <laughs> it's Corey. Hi, Corey. Huh? Okay. That's a little great. Better. It's CR zero EBIT. What? Pattern property versus property. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Something's something's afoot. Pattern that I'm looking at has got two things. It's got 37 items in in the property, right? So pro pattern properties as property name, right? Oh, what? Hmm. Property name should be right. So patterns and then patterns. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It pronounces the lup as Philip, which is hilarious to me. Did it do it twice for you? It did. C-R-O-Y bot. Okay, I don't understand why this is happening now. Um, okay. So I step into this. Property death is definitely false because property name. Does it not exist in pattern? Employment. I don't think I can get that far down. I can't. Poop. Let's look in here. What what is it that I'm looking for? It's a uh, value. I'm gonna drop it in here. So I'm just okay. So it's here though. Schema em, employment ID range includes. So what is excluding that? So rot schema as node, node ID. So there is an ID, right? Node ID schema employment unit. Um, I'm gonna add a breakpoint here. And I'm gonna edit the breakpoint. I'm gonna say, what am I checking for? I want to make sure that ID so ID is equal to be schema employment unit. I rerun this. Come back over here. Okay, that stopped. And so the ID is employment unit. So has it been pushed to the patterns yet? Let's see. Let's look, what does employment unit have? Range, which includes. Okay. All right, I 
it's working. So why is it not getting added? That's what I don't, I don't understand. Okay, wait a minute. So I went range includes, and this has got domain includes. So do I have domain includes for this node? Where's the node? It's got domain includes. It's got a single domain includes. If this property that then okay, what the hell, man? Uh, domain includes this class, so class ID, right? So. I need to step it in here. I think there might be something up with my logic here. Um, oh, I need to add that breakpoint in there. What was the breakpoint I was using in here? I'm just gonna use this one. Oops. Add breakpoint. I think there just might be some weird logic that I'm just, I think my code's bad. Which I know it's crazy. It's a crazy idea that my code could be horrible. So what if false doesn't equal? So it's not getting in there. Oh really? Let's rerun that. It's still not getting in there. So domain includes is coming in as false. What? Doing this wrong? Should be right. Let's rerun this. There it is. Right? Is this right? Okay. You know what? This is ridiculous. Uh, whoa. Line 171. What have I done? Oh, I think it's all that. that. Yeah, that's, that's the error, okay. <clears throat> Writing too much JavaScript lately. Okay, it's just not getting in there. I don't understand that. But why, why is this? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so here we go. So domain includes is not equal to false. So that is correct, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if I jump on to the next one, okay, so is, that should not be an array, so I should be able to jump into here now, whoa, no, it's not an array, I'm sorry, that's right, so that's right, so this is array key, it doesn't exist, which doesn't seem to exist, patterns, domain includes, so I need to be adding this point pattern should have it in there. Domain includes ID, right? Domain includes ID. So this. Oh, wait. I think this is wrong. I think I'm, I, I think I'm overwriting something here. So I need class ID in there. Is this, or is this pushing it? Does this class exist in list of patterns? If not, add it. So then this looks like it's adding it to job posting, which I don't think is what I want. And then it's, it's supposed to be adding properties Hmm, okay. I'm going to just uh, comment that out for now. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Oh, Lord. It's not what I wanted to have happen. Where was I here? Uh, where am I? I'm in, I'm in here. I want to do this. Oh, my God, I keep doing that. Uh, so, okay, it's, it's not 
where is the breakpoint right now? It's here. Okay, so this is this is what I want. So I need to do that. What the hell's the hell? Is that it? No, is that it? That's what I wanted. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, comment that out for now. And I think what I need to do is do class I ID, right? So class ID is or what's class class ID? Where's that come from? Domain includes this class. I don't think this is creating a top level thing. I think I think I'm looping this wrong. Right? Oh so I think I'm doing this wrong. Um because process your property. So the prop So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the property. Oh, my mind's melting right now. Um, I think I may be doing this wrong. Because, is it, okay, so this is either, if it's got this and it's got this, right? So the ID, let me just, let me just write out the logic there in my brain. So the logic, I think what needs to happen is, Maybe I need to look it up from a different place. Maybe that's what I need to do. I think I might need to look it up. So from patterns, I don't think it's patterns. I think it's, um, I, I think we probably want to get access to this, right? But what is it? It doesn't tell me anything about it. So, Martono Sato, Martoni Sato, welcome to the stream. So I don't know what employment unit it indicates a department unit in a f facility where the employee reports and or which the job is to be performed. So it's part of organization. Blah. But it doesn't really tell me anything about this, right? So it it can be used inside a job posting and it can be represented by an organization. So this is where, this is where it falls down. Paul, Paul, I need some insight on this. Cause I, what I can do is I can just put a whole bunch of things in there, but I don't know what we can, um, like I can do something like this. Um, like I can take, a, I can take a paragraph block. Right, and I can plunk it in there, and I can put the property name as the schema prop, right? But I will need to do that slightly differently. Um, something like this, right? And the description is going to be basically schema prop along those lines, and then so I can put property name in here again too. Right, we can do something like this inside the p tag. We can do that for each one, which is a little silly. Um, but we're gonna and I'm gonna take the HTML and I'm gonna drop it inside the group tag, which is gonna end. So this should give me a whole bunch of paragraph tags, which I don't know necessarily that's what we want. We go into patterns, we can go on categorized patterns, we can do job posting. So you see we've got, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, why didn't that work? That's not... Um, What's my error there? Um, patterns, so we'll uncategorized patterns, we'll go job posting, plunk it in there. Hmm, what's the error that I'm still getting? So the block row, could I, how did I write this? Two groups. 
div in there. I think that's what I screwed up. All right, it's div. Yeah. Okay. So the paragraphs, it's got to go after the paragraph. So I'm going to just uh, make that not broken anymore. I'm going to take HTML. I'm going to plunk HTML in right where this paragraph basically starts, right? Let me just let me make sure that that works before I start screwing with this. that works so then we'll plunk HTML in and I hope I should just right there I should be able to do this right because that's doing the thing at the beginning and the thing at the end and then we can just refresh this can you guys see that okay let me zoom in a little bit oh okay patterns pattern 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 and categorized and I have it down here but boop there we go so now each one of these things is a paragraph tag which, I mean, it's not that great. <laughs> it's not that helpful. But, um, like, <sighs> but if we look at this now, we should have this. We should have the, so we've got schema prop is employment unit. And then this is just like whatever. So this would be a Boolean, I guess, right? Which is, that's the thing. Like, I think we need to figure out the best way to de determine what this block is. Because what blocks, what blocks do we have access to? We have, like, you know, we don't. We have basically. What What are we going to use here, right? Oh, hey, Paul. Pa oh, Paul's here. I'm not sure what I, what, what we're going to use. Um, it's going to be mostly paragraph blocks. So, at what point do we sort of like do we build these blocks out? dynamically can we build sorry these patterns out dynamically or do we build it do we build because every job every schema thing isn't going to necessarily use every property that it needs right like probably gonna have things like title right that's for sure but maybe the title is gonna be like a header or it could be a header anyways like you could easily switch this I convert that to a heading which would make a lot more sense when we then work out what each object primitive. Yeah, so, okay, so let's look at figuring that out. So we, so we need to drill that down. So let's look at, let's say employment unit. So employment unit is basically represented by an, an organization, right? So if we if, if we find that um, we need to find like the upper one. Let's just uh, it's always going to be like that. Five of them to go. Oh, there we go. So it's a subclass of thing. Oh, that's the other part. <laughs> so I was I was looking at this. So it, it, if we look at say job posting, right? And we, and we compare the properties from, from job posting. So we get all of these properties listed, uh, but it also inherits a ton of properties from thing, right? 
So thing is its own entity. So we need to basically maybe like I don't like um, so let's look. If if we get into here, right? I'm going to re rerun this. We're, I, I realize we're absolutely going in circles at, at the moment, but I want to demonstrate this. Uh, not that. Let's get rid of it. Let's uh, disable that. Let's uh, disable. Disable all that. I want, I, I want to get that in there. Come on. Sorry. Okay. So we look at the job posting. So the properties, so the pattern that we're using has 37 properties, right? So if we compare those against what we're seeing in here, we should sort of get them all, right? We've got base, uh, what's this, employment unit, employment unit, job immediate start, job immediate start, bad job benefits, job benefits, responsibility types, all that stuff is in there uh, somewhere. Uh, response, responsibilities, I'm sorry, and then employment type, here so on and so forth so there's 37 of these things so there's well, there's, thir there's, th there's 37 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 1 2 3 4 4 there's 34 in here i probably miscounted by three uh but it's also then it also gets these things right which i don't so the, the, there's a description. So do we need to then figure out what this thing it inherits from and add all those properties as well? Hmm. Because we've got things like, so for example, let's look at, okay, so let's look at base salary. Uh, so, so base salary. So the expected type of this is going to be monetary amount or number or price specification. So we find base salary in here Oops. there we go so it's part of one of these two things but it's supposed to be one of these these three things so we that's what we need to figure out so so I think what we need to do is we get the property we so we get the property of what it is Right? And then we look for that property inside of the raw schema and pull in the range includes. Let's try that. Okay, so in here. So this, this is sort of working, but not really what, what I want. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stop this. So this is, and disable that. And we're gonna disable this. So basically we want the property name and then we're gonna have to do, so in the, in the, what is it? The raw schema, it's, it's an array. So how, um, so we take the list pluck. Okay, list pluck. I think this might be what we're looking for. Let's try it. Let's try it. This is going to be interesting. We're going to go, uh, thing. I'm going to say there's the list pluck. And we want, what do we want? Input field, input list is going to be, uh, it's going to be raw schema. And the field is going to be index key. Let's put foods, foods is the array and name. So it's going to be, let's pluck. So this is going to give me an array? Yes, it will. Unless maybe not what I want. What's the third parameter do? You have an object to use as keys for the new array. Property name, I guess. And then maybe we can go range includes. Is that what it is? Let's see. Schema domain range includes. I don't know what's going to schema. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what it's gonna do. Schema. Uh it's range includes, right? Range includes. I have no idea if this is gonna do what I want it to do. But I'm gonna plunk it there. I'm gonna refresh this. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, I wanna reload the site, man. That's what I wanna do. Thing, where's thing? Thing.
thing is an array of 285. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm doing that right. Uh, so list pluck. Steal from the object to place it instead of the entire object. I don't think this is what I want. Property name, I guess it's gonna be Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's not what I want. Um I guess I'm gonna have to loop it. There's gotta be a better way of doing this, but for the mo for for what I can do at this point is I can say for each. Uh, I'm gonna have to loop this again. This is so bad. Uh, we're gonna say so for, for for each uh, raw schema as schema as schema. What we're gonna do and say if no, um, it's gonna be if uh, I guess it's gonna be schema. How did I access it up here? It was like ID, right? Uh, weird thing like this. Weird scheme ID like that. Um, schema ID is uh, property name. So that matches that. Um, This is a bit more performant. I don't know. Do another continue in here. And then otherwise, we're going to just. Um... Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to do it this way. Sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to loop through it. I think this is a better way of doing it. I'm going to check. So if it matches, we're going to do something. And then, and then at the end of it, we're going to break out of the loop. Because once you found it, we don't care. This is like ON because potential for us to have to loop through the entire thing but at this point we should have um, we'll be able to get the range includes for this right range and includes range is going to be um, going to be schema and it should be like range includes right Some kind of infinite loop. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, that didn't cut it. Uh, what have I done here? Let's do that. Let's do that. This. Oh boy. Undefined probably SD class deployment unit. What? 194, where's that? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna just I'm not gonna register anything right now. This and I'm gonna hide this. I think this is all stuff that I just need to be not doing anything with at the moment. Let's try this again. That's running real slow. Is that because of my code? It probably is. Yeah, that's probably because of my 
slow ass code. Okay. I'm gonna take that break out of there and just see. Does this that's faster. Okay, cool. Um ba bum. Ba -ba. Okay, so in here, um So let's see, test schema is SDD class. It's got range includes, it's got an SDD SDD class of organization. What is this thing? So organization. So then then I need to figure out then I need to look up organization and figure out what that is. This is gonna be a lot of lookups. A lot of lookups. I feel like what I should do here is instead of doing this, I think I wanna rebuild my like my because I have a I, I, I have these patterns. I think every pattern should be represented here because it's gonna be a lot faster to look that up. Right? Because we can say, okay, well it's organization, so or whatever, it's class. We can look in class. Class has got one property. Okay, cool. Or it's got whatever. Claim, it's got three properties. Or it can be so like you know, I'm using a claim. Well, claim can be a value I've interpreted as claim, so I have to find that and like scoop get through all of that stuff. And then I can cache that. That makes sense because eventually what we have to do is we have to get it down to one of its like we we have to step we, we have to traverse the tree so it goes like okay so base salary well base salary can be either a price specification a schema or a number so we have to know what it can be represented as and then if that thing's going to be what it is like we basically have to get down to the point where where we have one of these raw numbers i think Right? Does that make sense? So like if I look at like, let's say monetary amount, Oops. monetary amount, it's so monetary amount is can be currency, which is text, max value number, so valid front. So it's got all these properties now, right? So we're just, we're just, li we're just looping, 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 looping. So we could build patterns out potentially that, um, that represent each one of these items. You know what I mean? And then, yeah. Hmm. I feel like we're going in circles again. I feel like we're going in circles in circles again. So if it so, we have to keep we have to keep looping through until we get what it is. And then, but the question becomes then, okay, here's a question for you there, Paul. So we have a base salary, right? That's our schema. And it can be represented by a price specification, a monetary amount, or just a number. How do we define that? Like how, do, how does our pattern know which one of those it should be? Or is that basically going to be, um, or do we just do a pattern? For each one of these, right? Or do we do a pattern that's a base salary that is a price specification, a base salary that is a monetary amount, and a base salary that is a is just a number? And then do we do that for each one, right? Like, you know, so this is audience is going to be represented by an audience. We have to find out what the audience schema is, right? No, I'm saying. So the question is now, do should I rebuild my giant array? I think maybe I should. Is that then I could I could look up classes? Because it looks like there's a there's a couple of different types. There's a type of RDF property, which is what this is, and then we have this audience. Now this is most likely going to be this is most likely that's not what I wanted. Where'd that go? This is most likely going to be of the type class. So, because I think anything with an uppercase seems to be class. So look, so re re resume action is a class. So theme audience, that is a property. But we want the uppercase audience, which I'm sure it's in here somewhere. There it is. So it's, it's our RDSFS class. So maybe what we need to do is we need to have each one of those. We can, we put if something's a class or a property, we can we we can list that.
just make it easier to access. Hmm. Okay. So I think I'm just going to return this for now because I don't think we want that. Oh, I got to stop in 15 minutes. This sucks. So basically, I'm wondering if we just need to not do this. I wonder if, if I need to just hide all this for now. Is that gonna break? Or each, yeah, and okay. So then we'll have that. And then we'll have a uh, type, right? It's gonna be node, and it should be, um, wait, what's the, what's at type? Right, so we have node at type, right? And so what we can do is we can start an array, oops, right? We, we have our patterns, and in here we can have uh, types, we can have uh, classes. Let's uh, let's do this properly. It's not an object, right? We'll have an array of classes. We'll have an array of types, right? And there might be maybe there's array of maybe there's like. Um, Right, so we can we can do that, right? I guess the question is, is there more than one? How many types are there? Like, is RDS F class, right? So there's type, there's a billion types here. Class, there's property. Type is media speciality. Never heard of that. Property, item availability. Uh, of course, it's exceptionally more complicated than it needs to be. All right, property class, schema, wearable size, system enumeration. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's getting more and more, more and more complicated as we go. Okay, so maybe all we have to do is just plunk in each type into one of the classes, right? Or do we care? Maybe we don't care. Maybe we just take the ID. And maybe we just jam it in at, at, at the top level and put all the all the information in it right so we can do something because this would be easier to traverse so if we just had a bunch of patterns right or i don't know if patterns is the right word here but like so we we have our id so we insert um What else could we possibly need out of that? We're gonna need min includes range includes, right? All right, so let's just go patterns, little ID. Is that gonna, I don't know if that's gonna work. I just yell like, oh, I don't need spaces, is that the thing? Oh, I need a semicolon, that'll do it every time. And I think I do need spaces in there for the word of All right, so now if we come down to basically here, and I rerun this, this is probably gonna do weird shit, but let's see. Okay, so patterns, 285 patterns. So we got this, it's a class, and here we can get everything that we need out of it. Okay, I think that might be, a slightly better way of doing it, right? So now we have everything. So now in, in our lookup, what we can say is we can jump down here. So we're not gonna we're not gonna need to return anymore. Right? Because why do we need to rebuild why do we need um uh, what? 175 175 pattern. Oh that doesn't exist, right? Pattern. Uh, patterns, patterns with ID, pattern. Okay, that's what I want. So this is going to be. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So. So it's not going to be range includes. It's going to be one of the domain includes, right? It's going to be like this. We're going to basically need to grab that. So we're going to say pattern. Boom. As. I don't think that's gonna work again, but we'll see. We'll just go ahead and see. 
All right, and I'll drop a little breakpoint in there. The boop. Oh, 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 oh. Did it break? Am I getting errors? Oh, I'm getting errors. So what's pattern? Pattern looks like CD classes. So, okay. Um, Oh, see, this is where, oh. <laughs> okay, so what's happening now is because I don't have any idea what patterns belong to, or sorry, what, what, what properties belong to this, this, this scheme of job posting. And that's what I was doing up here that's what i was doing up up here so maybe what we need to do is combine that stuff right so what we want to do is we, we i'm going to push the whole node to it All right so then we have access to the whole node and then let's put okay that all right, I think this is gonna be helpful. So this is very complicated, but once, I think once we figure out this data part, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out, is this stuff in here, is this stuff in here? And then if it's in there, if we have domain includes, right? So these are the domain includes are the, the types, right? So I'm gonna just put this back, right? What we wanna do is we're gonna processing a property, right? And then basically gonna put all this back, right? Okay, so if domain includes for each, so what I'm gonna do then is I want to um, class, so to class, I think patterns, uh, it's gonna be, I think I need to do this. I need to go uh, node, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna push the node on to an array. So then this is what I want to have to do there, right? So then this is going to not be that. It's going to be. No, I think that is what I want. Because that's going to look for whatever that is. Okay, let's, let's just see what this does. Let's just see what this does. Let's see. I'm, what I'm hoping is is going to happen here. Uh -oh. Quiet in chat. Have I lost everyone? Is everyone bored? Basically, what I want to have happen is okay. I don't know what's going on here, but this is being really janky. So what I want to do is, is I want to end up so we have basically the pattern has got this everything in it, and then it's also got the the, um, it also has all its properties in it. And the only way that you can get its properties, oh, that's why it's not working. Array push. Okay. Uh, 133. What am I doing? 133. 133. Patterns domain includes. Okay. So this is. Okay, so what this is gonna do, it's gonna, when it gets to the ID, it's going to push that on to the ID, right? And it's gonna give me notes. I'm just gonna basically, I'm gonna just turn all this off for now and just walk this through logically. And then I have to jump off, unfortunately, because I got a call in like nine minutes. So this case sort expecting, what, where's my case sort? What, the deuce. Oh, what am I down here? That's just telling me that it's empty. Okay, that's white space errors. Okay. Oh, cool. 
Oh my god, okay. Dad is completely screwed up and wrong. So let's make sure this is working. It's working. All right. So what I'm wanting to do is I want to ba basically. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm, I'm going to create a. I'm going to put the the uh, node in the the array. Okay. And it's going to be basically you know uh, indexed by name. Okay. So that's what that's going to do. And this is going to add the node. So if I get down to basically, I don't know, here, and I, 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 I do this, what I should have is my patterns should look like this. A citation, it's got the node, it's got everything in it. Now, what I have to do though is, like, so this, this citation can be part of, um, sorry, can be part of, that's really helpful, super helpful that that's doing that, so drag, let's see, node, it's probably not gonna tell me, okay, I can't, I can't get property, it's so dumb. Anyways, it's going to have a list of all its properties in there. So what I want to do, what I want to do is have it so as I'm scanning through, it says, oh, I'm a property of this. So I'm going to go and insert that into the properties array of that particular item in my patterns. Because then we know this, okay. Then we say, okay, I want to do a job posting. I'm going to go get its properties. Then I can look up its properties from this giant list. That's what I want to do, okay? So let's start putting this code back in. So if that is thing, then we're gonna do this, right? That should be fine, okay? So uh, we're, proce we're processing a property, okay? And then I'm going to bring this back because it, be, it can be an array of, um, it can be a single class or it can be an array. So this is where I'm going to go. I'm going to remove that breakpoint, right? I'm going to remove this breakpoint. So if I put one here and I refresh this, now I come in here. Okay, so we've got domain includes is a class, right? So this is a creative work. This is a property that can be part of whatever ID is, node, whatever citation is, right? I think that's right. Okay, so if it's an array, which is not, it's gonna jump into here. And then I want to start doing this stuff. All right, boom. So if, if his array, well, let's see, okay. Uh, just restart this. Okay, so this is now, it's not gonna be an array, so it's gonna jump into here. Okay, what is domain includes ID? Let's look. Domain includes ID is creative work. So if it doesn't exist inside there, we're going to add it, right? Okay, so if it doesn't ex exist inside patterns, right? Then it's gonna be, we're gonna add it and then and also set the node node and we're gonna run into some order of operation errors here I think because we just want it to be an array but if we if this has not been set yet I think what we should do is to add these things as well so then we're gonna go like this right so this is going to give us the node, it's going to give us an empty properties array, and it's going to give us that, right? So then we could say, okay, so this is set up. So now in here, if the if this doesn't exist, we're going to do the same thing, except we're just going to we're just going to set this to null for now. Right? And then in here, I guess we're going to have to check if this is set first. Uh, they're going to have to be like is uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do this 
we're gonna have to do this exact thing up here. All right, we're gonna go. If it does, if this doesn't exist, then we're gonna put it in, right? But if it does, because we say we got the citation first and then it came back, and it created job posting, then what all we want to do is we want to um, we're gonna want to take this and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go. It's gonna be a ray push, right? And we're gonna do that, right? That's what we're gonna do. I think if it doesn't exist. Then we're gonna. Oh no no, uh, it's gonna be in. It's gonna be no ID. Ah, oh, I gotta go. So we're gonna push this array. Can you do a ray push with named yeah, ray? Oh wait, no, 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 no. We'll do. We'll do this. That's what we'll do. That's how you do it. I'm a dope. I think we'll just do this. Node is equal to. I'm gonna say node, right? Yeah. So I don't think I can do that. So we're just gonna. So this means it does exist. So all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take this and we're gonna set node to node, right? Because it's already been generated down here, it says null. So that should that should fix that. Okay, and so okay, so we can get rid of this, and then we're going to basically what am I gonna do here? We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna we're just gonna push the pattern because the properties, it's gonna be an array, we're gonna put that in there. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's rerun this. Now we should get down to this point at some point. Okay, so I'm gonna skip by that, skip by that. Ugh, just disable that for now. And I'm just gonna skip down to 40 patterns. So in my patterns, uh, citation, it's got properties. So creative work has got properties in it now, which is awesome. So it's got, these are all the properties that, that can be part of it. Okay, we're getting there. So now, now it means that if I look up creative work, if something is a creative work, like a citation, for example, uh, it's uh, range includes, which we haven't done those yet. It can be, uh, okay, I guess that it could be a medical risk score. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but if any of it gets, gets a, a chain, gets added, now we can come back here. I'm gonna have to probably fix this up a little bit. Oh, I, I haven't done this part yet. Um, So anyway, oh, I have to drop. This sucks. Yes, my head will ex will explode, but I think we are I think we are where we need to be. Um, once we get all the information in this big, huge, gigantic array, we can cache this, and then we can access it as we need to access it to traverse through what we need to build out. So I'm gonna stop it now because um, I gotta go to a meet meeting. Oh, Kevin, lights out, Kev. You're hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I gotta go to a meeting, but unfortunately, I, w I wish I could uh, I could run run longer here. Um, yeah, but anyways, it's been great hanging out with everyone, and uh, I hope uh, I'll see you next week when we're gonna pick this up and we're we're much closer. We're I think we're much in a much better place. So I swear to God, once we get this data set, uh, figured out, we're gonna be way better because then we can start putting in all all the pieces and sort of putting together all. All the, all the things it's getting there it's getting there this is a big project it's i mean if we don't do the data right now we're gonna we're gonna be coming back later and trying to trying to fix it all up all right well thanks everyone it is so hard to say goodbye to yesterday right it's kev x bay there he is he just gets here and i'm leaving all right kev well thanks for showing up kevin and uh, i'll talk to you all, right. all next week it's kev x bay oh there he is all right see you later bye